Hey, good day to you. This is Todd. I am a regular dude walking in the Word. Hey, we're talking about, we're in Ephesians, and we're talking about what God has done for us. Eight things we're going through here. Of, and when you break down Ephesians chapter 1, verses 3 through 14, there's eight things in there of things God has done for us. Okay? Um, the first one was God has blessed us. The second one, God has chosen us. The next one was God has predestined us. And then yesterday we talked about God has <clears throat> redeemed us, which ties right in with today, which God has for, forgiven us. It's, those two things are in verse 7, okay, of what we're going to read. So um, let's read today. It's Ephesians chapter 1, verses 3 through 14, all right? It says this, Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in the heavenly realms with every spiritual blessing in Christ. For he chose us in him before the creation of the world to be holy and blameless in his sight. In love he predestined us for adoption to sonship through Jesus Christ, in accordance with his pleasure and will, to the praise of his glorious grace, which he has freely, freely given us in the one he loves. Verse 7, pay attention here. In him we have redemption through his, through his blood, the forgiveness of sins in accordance with the richness of God's grace, that he lavished on us with all wisdom and understanding. And he made known to us the mystery of his will according to his good pleasure, which he purposed in Christ to be put into effect when the times reach their fulfillment, to bring unity to all things in heaven and on earth under Christ. In him we were also chosen, having been predestined according to the plan of him who works out everything in conformity with the purpose of his will in order that we, who were the first to put our hope in Christ, might be for the praise of his glory. And you also were included in Christ when you heard the message of truth, the gospel of your salvation, when you believed and you were marked in him with a seal, the promised Holy Spirit, who is a deposit guaranteeing our inheritance until the redemption of those who are God's possession to the praise of his glory. Okay. So today we're talking about God has forgiven us, and that's taken from verse 7 here. Uh, verse 7 says, In him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins in accordance with the richness of God's grace. Okay? So God has forgiven us, okay? And it wasn't just a willy-nilly thing like, oh, you're forgiven. No, no, he, he uh, sacrificed his own blood uh, for that, uh, the blood of Jesus uh, the Son. Um, for that. So that's how forgiveness happened there. And we talked about redemption yesterday, and this is all tied together. Remember I said everything that we're talking about, it's it's all tied together. So we can kind of pull it apart and dissect it a little bit, but then you got to put it all back together for it to all make sense. Because uh, for us to be redeemed, you have to have forgiveness. And for the forgiveness, you got to be redeemed. And it, it's all um, tied together. But God has forgiven us and, um, and it's, it's through his blood, okay? So I can't do it because I'm not a, I'm not a perfect sacrifice, okay? No one on earth, um, all of us are born sinners. According to Romans 3, 23, all of us are sinners, okay? And all of us deserve death. So we I can't give up my life for someone else because I'm not a perfect sacrifice. Jesus, however, was the perfect sacrifice and gave his blood um, so that my sins could be forgiven, okay? So that's what we're focusing on today is I'm forgiven, and Jesus is the one that's taken my sins, okay? And he's, uh, like we said yesterday, he has redeemed uh, me. He's paid the price. It, it's all paid, okay? Um, so anyway, uh, just wanted to bring that to your attention today. God has forgiven us. And uh, tomorrow we'll keep on going. we got three more uh statements here of things that God has done for us. I thank you for watching, and I'm just a regular dude walking in the Word, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow as we continue our journey through Ephesians. Lord's blessing. I'll see you then.